Hey everybody, nice to meet you and welcome back, my name is Michael. A short video today about this wireless outdoor security camera, that's a new device by Xiaomi and very interesting because it has a big body, because there's a battery inside, so entirely wire-free, uh, very portable if you are a bit creative and quite interesting footage, I managed to capture a lot of different samples because I managed to build this, well it's, it's a self-made set of, of mounts so that you can terminate an Arca Swiss and I can connect it to pretty much any Arca Swiss capable mount and uh, manage to get more footage for you. And of course, yes, we are uh, going to explore a lot of different scenes, daytime, nighttime footage, the uh, motion detection, unboxing, setup, real life performance, user interface and so on. Uh, before that, I just want to invite you to stand until the end of the video and also to subscribe to the channel for more cool tech inspections. And this is the latest by Xiaomi. Me, outdoor wireless 1080p camera. Uh, one of their first in this stream. Although they have been active on the wireless surveillance options with a lot of really fantastic indoor motorized models. This is something that has become popular in the past months outdoor camera wirelessly sending data to a receiver and having the ability to operate without being charged for up to 90 days. This is a breakthrough since most security cameras either need a power supply or a signal cable or both of them. Here, nothing like it. Entirely wireless, with two-way audio communication, all of that at the surprisingly accessible price of close to $90, or at least this is the best deal I managed to find at the time reviewing the product. Head over to the description to find more about this listing. So, how is all of this possible? Let me show you what's included with the box. First, the note. Video and audio surveillance, if there were two or three copies of it, was about to be even better. You can easily print such one yourself. This here is the receiver, looks like a very small wireless router and has somewhat similar role, however dedicated entirely to the camera we are unboxing next. I just need to warn you that the front area is very gentle, so be extra careful. Try to keep it away from abrasive surfaces, as the glass can easily scratch and it may have impact on the image quality and the auto detection mode afterwards. You will immediately notice that the whole unit feels somewhat heavy because of the battery that is inside. Before taking a look at the image quality, may I share some specs? A 5 megapixel image sensor? Sadly, I was unable to find out which is the exact model, so if you have some insights, please add it in the comments below the video. There's 1080p video resolution supported, H.265 encoding, bright optics with aperture f by 2.1, 130 degree field of view, the camera is equipped with large 5700mAh battery allowing up to 90 days operation per charge, IP65 waterproof rating, very good temperature tolerance, support for micro SD card on the receiver and weight of the external unit of close to 230 grams. Now, specs and promises are one thing, real life performance sometimes tends to be a different thing. So what really matters is the image quality, the battery endurance and the user experience. I'm going to show you some samples, as a teaser, just before showing you the installation. The image quality is surprisingly good. This is footage captured by the camera and preserved on the microSD card. There are options for buying some cloud storage too. The installation is really simple, especially if you follow the steps. Start by getting the Mi Home app, register and set the region correctly. The next thing to be done is to add the station, this is the receiver. Essentially, the camera, you know, uh, does the recording, sends them to the receiver, which can capture them or send them further to cloud storage solution. And this is actually the device you connect to in order to see real time footage. In order to add it, there are a few ways to do it. I would strongly recommend to try the QR code, which is stamped here. And it's going to eliminate the possibility of you choosing another or wrong device. So go ahead, launch your smartphone's camera and scan this QR code. There are two modes of operation, with a LAN cable or wirelessly. Whichever you choose, the procedure is the same. Once the module is added, the system will ask you to add the camera, power on, press and hold for a few seconds until you hear that the camera has been reset and ready to connect and follow the steps until it's added. It should take you no more than 10 minutes together with the app download, the cabling and everything else. 
I have, of course, decided to go a few steps further and was able to mount the camera to the plate, which gives me the possibility to mount it on a tripod, and that was easier for me to capture more footage and show you different angles. One of the things to note, the camera actually doesn't have inbuilt motor, so the angle is fixed. Means that you better plan well how shooting should happen. The wireless range is actually good, and as long as there is visibility between the camera and the receiver, you can stretch the distance of up to 30, even sometimes 40 meters. In daytime, footage is fantastic, thanks to the great image sensor, you can actually zoom in three times and the quality is still going to be acceptable. Very nice and smooth operation from the app. Night footage is also superb, just impressive how much of impact the infrared mode can do. And the automatic detection of movements is invaluable, works like 90% of the time, which, in my opinion, is a great success rate. Of course, like most of the meat products, this device is going to get regular updates, and for the two weeks of testing, I already have received two of them. So yeah, I think the longevity is going to be pretty good, and most of these updates should be decent. I really enjoyed using the smartphone app, since it is based on Mi Home or Xiaomi Home, depending on the region. Uh, it's very well polished, has really good menus, and the interface is pretty much brilliant. So I think it covers almost everything you would wish from a smartphone app for such an outdoor security camera. Still, uh, if I need to point to a drawback, I really miss a good battery status and probably a bit more information about the Wi-Fi connectivity between the receiver and the camera itself. Mentioning battery life, on Xiaomi website you can see up to 90 days, but well, there's a little catch. They've calculated this by um, running the camera for 10 times um, in, in daytime and 10 times in nighttime, so uh, night infrared mode, for 15 seconds, which makes uh, total operation time per day of about 5 minutes, meaning that if the camera is on a very crowded place, which is going to trigger the motion sensor pretty much all the time, the battery life could be drastically shorter. So I can't exactly tell you uh, how long it's, it's gonna take if you constantly use it, but if you notice that the battery life is not sufficient for you, you can just unplug here and put a Type-C cable and uh, give it constant charging. However, this is going to more or less reduce the waterproofness. To add to the drawbacks, I couldn't make the camera work with selecting the EU region. Choosing the United States was fine, maybe a temporary issue on my end or just a matter of minor software tweaking. Secondly, no chargers are included in the box, so you have to find your own USB chargers. There is only one Type-C cable included, so if you need something longer for the camera, you have to buy it yourself. And the lack of motor, which given the desire for prolonged battery life, is well understandable. So let me be very clear, this is a great wireless solution for places where you don't expect too much motion, it's gonna work good at crowded areas if you keep the charger connected and with some creativity you can turn it into one of the easiest to set up portable surveillance stations. And with showing you some more cool footage and close-ups, the conclusion is pretty clear, good and reliable way to get yourself video surveillance at great value and without the complexity of wires and difficult installation procedures and avoiding no-name and insecure smartphone apps. This is an audio test recorded with the Mi Wireless Outdoor Security Camera 1080p. I definitely like it. If you do too, great. If you don't, I always give you the chance to tell me why in the comments below and also to recommend other good alternative models. Thanks a lot for watching this video, thank you even more for supporting the channel by giving the video a like or dislike and taking the time to subscribe, because I'd love to see you coming back. Cheers!